we need to round the numbers below to the nearest tenth. So first, we have 2.36. To round to the nearest tenth, we need to find the tenths digit, which is always the first digit after the decimal point, and then we can underline the hundredths digit. We have six hundredths, and if we have five or more, we're rounding up. So 2.36 rounds to 2.4, because the digits before what we've circled stay the same, so the 2 in the 1s stays the same, but because we're rounding up, the 3 changes into a 4. And we can show 2.36 on a number line. If each of these squares is 100th, we can see that 2.36 is between 2.3 and 2.4, but because it's closer to 2.4, 2.36 rounds to 2.4. Now we have 2.63. So to round to the nearest tenth, we find the tenths digit and look to the right, so look at our hundredths digit. We have a 3, and when we have 4 or less, we round down. So that means the digit that we've circled, so the tenths digit, stays the same. So we have 2.6, because the 2 in the 1s stays the same as well. And on a number line, we can see that 2.63 is between the tenths 2.6 and 2.7. But because it's closer to 2.6, that's what it rounds to. Now we have 4.808, so this time we have three digits after the decimal point, but the thousandths digit doesn't make a difference when we're rounding to the nearest tenth. We do the same thing, we find the tenths digit and underline the hundredths digit. Now we have a zero, so we're rounding down, that means the eight stays the same and digits to the left of what we've circled stay the same as well. So 4.808 rounds to 4.8. We can see on a number line that 4.808 is closer to 4.8 than it is to 4.9, so we're rounding down. We can also see on this number line that 4.808 is between 4.8 and 4.81. Finally, we have 6.464. So we can find our tenths digit. Again, it's always the first digit after the decimal point. We can underline our hundredths, and because we have a 6, we know that we're rounding up. So the tenths digit increases by 1, so goes from 4 to 5. Digits to the left stay the same. So we have 6.5, because if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we don't write any digits after the tenths digit, so we only have one decimal place in our answer. And also, rounding to the nearest tenth and rounding to one decimal place, they mean the same thing. Whether we're rounding to the nearest tenth or to one decimal place, we only have one digit after the decimal point. So we can show 6.464 on a number line. We can see that it's closer to 6.5 than it is to 6.4. We can also see that 6.464 is between 6.46 and 